a hidden gem in Uruguay. Cabo Polonio is a beautiful beach town that has refused to adopt more modern lifestyle. The town was named after the Spanish vessel, El Polonio, that sunk in 1735. The land is owned by private citizens and the government, which designated it a protected national park in 2009. Many people from the capital and other cities in Uruguay, love to come here during the summer for a rustic vacation away from populated cities. It's one of the most popular spots for young barefooted boho locals to come for fun by the beach, and it is becoming recognized as a big backpacker draw. The beaches on either side of the peninsula, Playa Sur and Playa Norte, are naturally gorgeous. To get here you can take a 4x4 at the Puerta del Polonio terminal. The distance is about 8 kilometers and the journey, 30 minutes long. The lack of electricity and home comforts is part of the charm of this beautiful place. Cooking under a head torch can be a fun and special experience. This place is not for you, if the comfort of a modern city with air conditioning electricity and Wi-Fi is your thing. Accommodations across the village are very basic. You can expect higher prices during the summer season from December to January. Many people will head to Cabo Polonio for a beach holiday. If you're planning on visiting at this time, reservations would be necessary, and you'd need to be aware that the atmosphere of the town might change quite a bit. I recommend visiting from mid-October to November for a more relaxed and affordable vacation, although it won't be as warm as the December and January months you can still have a fantastic time. There are a few businesses which offer facilities to charge your devices for a small cost. But the true charm of this place is the ability to get away from technology and connect with nature. The local shops are well stocked and very affordable. There's fresh fruit and vegetables, snacks, and a good selection of alcohol. Opening hours are limited, so ask the locals for information on opening and closing hours. Again, this is a slow-paced place where people are no in a rush for anything. If you plan on cooking, it wouldn't be a bad idea to bring some supplies along with you. You might not be able to find an ATM, be prepared and bring enough cash for the duration of your stay. Since sea lion trade was banned, their number has greatly increased, and they have become one of Cabo Polonio's attractions. You will see easy to see hundreds of sea lions resting on the rocks of the lighthouse. The lighthouse is open since 1881. Visitors are allowed and it offers the best views of the hamlet of Cabo Polonio, the dunes, the beaches and even the Tory Islands. If you love a good adventure, you have to visit this place. Please subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on, to be notified when we release a new video. Let's go travel!